you know, we are having a bit of a fun time here in the real estate market, as you're probably seeing around the country. Um, this is a trend that uh, we are always monitoring and keeping an eye on. So I wanted to give you an, an update on what's happening specifically in the Tulsa area. So every month, as you know, we are looking at the data. We want to make sure that we are best helping our clients when it comes to understanding what is going on. So our Tulsa MLS puts together this uh, incredible report. I'm happy to send the full report to you. It's 11 pages of lots and lots of numbers, really good stuff that help us understand what's happening when it comes to supply and demand and the buyer's market, seller's market, and what all is happening in the market that we are living. So what I am always going to first start with is this snapshot right here, and that's what we'll cover today. So we're going to look at exactly what has happened from last year, 2020, to this year, 2021. And this gives us some great insight as to how things have changed or stayed the same. Now, it also then is a direct correlation to what we're feeling in real time when it comes to working with our buyers or sellers. So first off, you can see that closed listings are up 21%. Pending listings are up 7%. And new listings are even up 4%. But the problem and what we're feeling of the inventory shortage is right in this. There are more properties going off the market, either because they close or they're under contract then are coming on the market. So the market is not getting replenished enough. Now, this is what also what we're seeing for the advantage of our sellers right now, because if you look at the average sales price in one year has gone up 22.72%. 23% of your value has, is increased over this last year for doing nothing. You didn't even have to make any updates or improvements. It just is, and therefore it's worth more today than it was last year. Now imagine if you had some equity in your home before all of this, and now you've even got 23% more equity in your home sitting right there. So this could be a great time for you to make a change or uh, take advantage of this inventory shortage. Now, what else really matters right now, and whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're noticing this as well, the average days on market is 24, 24 days. So that means the homes are selling faster for more money. You can see that the list price to sales price ratio is this 99%. So the properties are selling faster for more money and um, that's what we're seeing and feeling. And it has everything to do with this very bottom line, which is what we call absorption rate, the month supply of inventory. There is 1.87 month supply of inventory. The lower that is, the more in favor of sellers it is. When it's between five and seven month supply of inventory, that's kind of what we call a balanced market. And then above seven becomes a buyer's market. So we're always, you know, teetering in between these different markets where the favor is in uh, the, the court of one over the other. Now it happens to be the sellers. However, the low interest rates are keeping so many buyers in the market because it still can make great sense for you to buy a home right now if that is on your goals, if it's a part of your plan. And we're here to help you figure out the best way to win the offer if you get the opportunity to make one. So we are really uh, pushing and, and having a shout out for any person who has a property and is thinking about selling. We created a seller rescue plan. We shared that last month on how we can help you work through the hassles of the, the selling and the buying at the same time or how you can find a property that maybe isn't yet on the market in any way that we can help you take advantage of this rare opportunity. We don't know how long it's gonna last. If we had a crystal ball, that'd be cool, but we don't. So we're just sticking with it, helping our clients through this process. If you're curious about the value of your home, we have a great free website. It's called tulsahomevalue.com where you can 
put in your address, you're going to add your email and your phone number because it has to send you the report afterwards. And you can get an overview of what's going on in the market. And we're here to help. If you need anything at all, my number is 918-706-9845. Bye.